Hi folks, my name's Ashley. I'm one of the founders of Skira and I'm here today to show you what's new in Construct 3 release 218. Uh, today we have a very exciting major new feature to show you which has uh, been a long-standing request uh, which we refer to as the scene graph feature. Let me show you how it works. Um, it's sort of like a built-in pin behavior. So if I open this example which used to use the pin behavior uh, this is now using the scene graph feature and using the new add child action it's uh, which you can now find in the sprite and a few other objects um, you can use this to build a hierarchy of uh, objects which allows you to create a larger and more complex object out of uh, individual sprites and other objects and have the larger object act and move as if it's one so the add child action is similar to the pin action from the pin behavior, uh, except it's now built in. Uh, and you have similar options here to choose which properties you will pin. And if I preview the example, you can see that now the um, shields move and rotate and also scale with the uh, logo sprite, which they have been added as children of. So just a quick word on the terminology. When you add a child, um, that's a child of the parent sprite, which in this case is the logo. So the parent and children uh, phrasing is the standard way of referring to these kinds of hierarchies. Moving on, I'll show you a slightly more complex example of that. Um, and we have a new demo uh, using this uh, skeleton sprite here. Uh, as, as you can see, I, sh I should say sprites. Uh, as you can see, it's made up of lots of individual parts. Uh, these are all connected together using the scene graph feature. And if I preview this, you can see that the skeleton moves. Once again, it moves and rotates as if it's one large object, but it's made out of lots of connected individual objects. Another interesting feature is that uh, with the uh, scene graph feature, there are new conditions which allow you to pick across the hierarchy. In this case, if I click on the skeleton body, it will pick the children at the end of the hierarchy or the bottom of the tree uh, and highlight them in green. So you can see that's the hands, uh, the sword, the head and the feet there. This is a new capability that wasn't in the pin behavior before. So that's an interesting new um, way that you can use it. And I'll just show you here, here's the condition which allows you to uh, pick across the hierarchy when the user touches the body sprite it will pick the children at the bottom of the hierarchy and change their color to green. So why might you want to use the scene graph instead of the pin behavior? There, the, there's the convenience of the fact it's built in. There's the new conditions uh, which allow you to pick across the hierarchy. And also uh, because it's built in, it's fixed an old problem with the pin behavior. Um, the pin behavior used to have issues with uh, uh, lag when you create change of objects. So in this case, I've got a, a small, simple chain of the red is connected to the green is connected to the blue. And when I move it around using the pin behavior, you can see that the red sprite is actually lagging behind a little bit. The reason for this is quite complicated. I won't go all the way into it, but it amounts to the order in which behaviors tick. And because the pin behavior um, is a behavior, uh, it will tick in a specific order and it's not always doing what you want. However, when you're using the scene graph feature, that's using the add child action, you can see no matter what order you add things in or what order things are created, it's always perfectly up to date. And that's because the engine, the construct engine knows all about all the connections across the entire hierarchy. So it can make sure everything updates uh, correctly, no matter what is moved. So that's a, a good reason to use uh, the scene graph feature. Um, this is more or less a complete replacement for the pin behavior. Uh, so you may want to just start using that as a, um, a replacement uh, for the pin behavior. But for the time being, we're leaving the pin behavior in construct um, largely for you know old tutorials, existing projects, and so on and so forth. We don't want to cause any unnecessary disruption. Um, we will be continuing to further improve the scene graph feature, um, such as by adding editor features for it. These will come in uh, future releases. Um, we wanted to make the feature available to you sooner. Uh, so all these features are currently for the runtime and can be used from the event system. Um, but as you can see here, we have a big event which creates all the connections. We'd like to, in future, 
make it possible to create these connections within the layout view so you don't have to have these long lists of actions um, and this will mean that uh, you can set everything up how you want in the editor itself uh, including all those connections and that will be another step ahead of the pin behavior. We're very excited about this, uh, we're keen to see what you can do with it and we think it's a significant improvement to the uh, way uh, you can make objects work together in Construct. So have a look at these demos and see what you can do with it. Uh, there's only one other thing I wanted to cover in this uh, um, video. Um, as, uh, as ever, our releases have a whole wide range of additions and various improvements and fixes and so on. Um, but I just want to cover one more thing to make sure our video isn't too long. Um, in the project bar up here now, there's now options for cut, copy and paste for everything um, that appears here, including families, object types, event sheets, and layouts. And this should be a really useful way to help you move resources between projects. So for example, if I want to take this title, um, this title screen from Space Blaster, and move it to another project, I can copy it there. And I'm going to close the project, uh, move to another project. This is just for example purposes. And I'm going to paste it in this project. And you see Chrome is showing a prompt to access the clipboard. That's normal. And so I'll paste. And now I've got the Space Blaster title layout in this other project. So I can use it here as well. So this would be especially useful, for example, if you have your company logo or an intro sequence or any other kind of resources that you want to share between your projects. You can also see, it, see here it's pasted all the objects into the project that the layout I pasted uh, depends on. So it will carry along those resources with it. Uh, we think these are both uh, really useful improvements to Construct. As ever, check the release notes for the full details and we hope you enjoy using this release.